One of the most satisfying things I did as a member of the U.S. Senate was to, for states as well as the federal government, to adopt constitutional amendments or statutes that protected the rights of crime victims. And I got deeply involved in that, and uh, it was a very rewarding experience. The experience in the law practice that I am probably most proud of and that uh, I remember the best was arguing before the U.S. Supreme Court, which not a lot of lawyers get to do. And we had a very important case for Arizona that I was fortunate to be able to argue and won, by the way. <laughs> and that was kind of the, uh, the top of my, my law career. On July 4th, 1985, my congressman, Eldon Rudd, called me and said, I've decided I'm not going to run for re-election. I think you ought to think about it. Well, we were at a friend's home in Sedona celebrating the 4th, and on the drive back to Phoenix, my wife and I had a pretty serious conversation. Great law career, good family life, but I'm thinking, okay, I know what my father did. I really admired his work. I like government, I like politics. If I don't do this now, I'll probably never have the chance. I would never run against a congressman, you know, at least one of, of my party. The office would be open. And I thought, well, if I win, it'll be a great experience. If I don't run, I'll never know what it would have been like. And if I lose, I can always go back to a great law practice. I had never thought about running for the Senate in my uh, last two years in the House of Representatives. I served in the minority the whole time. That's not the most fun thing. And uh, the Republican, a lot of Republican colleagues and others uh, essentially said, look, we need a candidate to run against the incumbent, Dennis DeConcini, who had represented Arizona for three terms in the U.S. Senate and um, presumably was going to run for re-election. Uh, as I said, deciding to run simply because the party really needed a good candidate and they thought that I represented the best opportunity to defeat uh, Senator DeConcini wasn't the best reason. But uh, I didn't have the sense of fulfillment in the House of Representatives that I had hoped uh, which is hard for a member of the minority in the House. And I saw opportunities in the Senate and was more experienced now. I thought I knew what I was doing finally and could make a contribution and therefore uh, did decide to run. Fortunately for me, because I'm not sure I could have defeated him, uh, Senator DeConcini eventually decided not to run for re-election. Uh, and so I, I ran against a, another congressman and was able to be elected in 1996. I, I like to be an observer at, at, the, uh, at the NASCAR races and the IndyCar races, but I like to participate in outdoor activities, primarily hiking, splitting wood uh, up at our cabin, you know, getting the old chainsaw out and something needs to be cut down and doing that. Um, but uh, just enjoying the outdoors. You know, the most important thing is that you were a good dad, you were a good, good husband, uh, a good uncle. Uh, and you, you tried to do what was right in your own life. But because I've been involved in the public life as well, um, I hope people uh, appreciate that I always try to approach my job with honesty, um, with a lot of hard work, which I think is critical to doing a good job. And to the extent I was successful, a lot of that is attributable to trying to work hard at it. Uh, being willing to compromise when necessary, because you have to, but always sticking up with your principles. That's not always easy to do, and you don't always succeed because sometimes those two things do conflict. But frequently you can find a way to adhere to your principles and still find a way to get something worthwhile accomplished. And over the course of 26 years, I think I contributed uh, in a satisfactory amount to the security of our country, to the health of our own state here, uh, to the fiscal policies of our country, and also hopefully as an example to younger people of how you can serve the public and do so consistent with your own values and uh, yet working with people with different points of view to try to get things done.